Everybody, repeat after me. I love God. Okay, so happy Sunday. Um, this is Faith's podcast. Um, so I have 34 subscribers. I know I've said this before, but I'm just so proud that I have that many subscribers because it's awesome. Anyway, so today I'm going to talk about how God gives us strength to do things. So it it's interesting because I think we all hit a low in our lives or many lows, you know, um, breaking points, being broken, just different things. And I want to remind you all that um, when Jesus, Jesus says in the Bible, when you are broken hearted, I am close to you. I'm sorry, I'm like ready to cry because that's just such a good verse. Um, and don't be afraid to cry. I get afraid to cry sometimes, I think, and it's just kind of stupid. But um, but he did. And I feel like when we're at our weakest, that's when he's at his strongest, if that makes sense. And so I feel like when we have difficulties and challenges and weak, weak moments or we feel like we can't do something, you know, we need to realize that we can't. We need to rely on God and we need to rely on the supreme being that made us and understands us and is very generous and giving uh, strength. So um, I want to share that real quick. Um, it's a beautiful day today. It is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see the trees or whatever. It's just, it's gorgeous um, here in Pennsylvania. Um, pray for Trump. Okay. So nobody's perfect. And I do believe that um, Trump like may have done some things he shouldn't have done. But that doesn't change the fact that he's a really darn good president. Like, he knows what he's doing. And I feel like, compared to Biden, God rest his soul, I feel like Trump has, like, presidential qualities that nobody else has. So I would say pray for him. Pray for him a lot. Um, I had a really hard day. I'm just going to say it. I'm the raw of the moment. Um just a lot of, um, heartache and I don't really want to go into it, but, um, people trying to be bullies and stuff that I do not put up with. Um, I just feel like some people think they're like destined to be a bully and it's really sad, but it's kind of stupid too. Um, but I'm doing okay. If you wondered, um, so, and then, um, I just wonder, like, if you guys wanted to talk about anything, if you could just tell me in the comments what you want to talk about, it'd be great. Um, because I'm tired. <laughs> um, but that being said, so, yeah, it's just, God is so good and God is, like I said in the other ones, he's so just and he brings about, okay, so. I think I've told this before, but I'm going to say it again. God brings good out of evil. So what do I mean by that? I mean that anything evil that happens to you, God will bring good out of it. And I think that's really interesting, at least for me, because I'm going to be completely honest. I've been through a lot. So I've been hospitalized a few times, more than a few times. Um, you know, now my medication, I'm stable and everything, thank God. Um, but I've been through like hell literally and just different things and um it's just it's not easy so if any of you are going any any going through anything today just know I probably went through worse so um but where I'm going with this is that see I lose my mind train of thought really easily <laughs> um I was gonna say oh God brings good out of evil. See, I remembered. So God brings good out of evils. What does that mean? So it means like, say you are shot. I don't know why I thought of that. And, you know, you almost die or something. Maybe God let that shoot you because you were like straying from the faith and you came back. Or That's kind of a stupid example, but things like that. Um, but here's an example. So I used to have a TikTok account. I don't have it anymore. I just don't really like TikTok. But 
I had one and I realized I was getting a lot of scam uh, artists or whatever and they were all commenting on my videos and stuff and it was really repulsive. Anyway, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I do not like this. This is stupid. And then I realized the more they liked my stuff and subscribed to my channel, the more followers I got. So eventually I could go live. It was interesting, but that's the way God brings good out of evil. He knows what's going on. And actually, when I was in a psych ward one time, my, uh, the last time I went, which was years ago, which is really good. But um, I was singing this song to my roommate. And she absolutely loved it. But I'm going to sing it now. I know I never sing on here, but I really should. Um, of course, I have to fix my hair before I sing. Um, but it's called He Knows by Jeremy Camp. And, um, oh, the bitter, weary ways. The endless striving day by day. Barely have the strength to pray in the valley low. And how hard your fight has been, how deep the pain within, wounds that no one else has seen, hurts too much to show. And all the doubt you're standing in between, all the way that brings you to your knees, he knows. So like, he knows. It's just a really good reminder. And then it goes, Every hurt and every sting, he has walked the suffering, he knows. So I'm going to leave you with this thought, he knows. So what's behind that is the fact that God knows what's going on. He knows everything that's going on. God help me because I did have a bad day. But thank you, God, because he knows everything. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys are doing okay. God bless.